Mark, you had 27 assists on 41 made baskets and no Shea in the mix. I just was curious your thoughts on the way that you all stayed committed to your style of play for all 48 minutes tonight, regardless of your own personnel. Um, yeah, I thought our offense kept us in the game tonight, obviously, because uh, we had a hard time you know, getting a, a handle on them defensively. They did a really good job attacking. Um, we followed them too much, obviously. They rebounded, and they've got shot makers on top of it. So uh, we paced with them for a good amount of the game. That was because of our offense. Uh, we could have had better attacks on some plays, uh, but for the majority of the game, I thought our offense kept us afloat. And then, you know, defensively, um, seemed like some extra chances, the fouling in the first quarter, anything that really stood out to you as some opportunities for growth? Yeah, I just think, you know, overall tightness on that end of the floor, I uh, thought the way we pursued in pick and roll tonight, that's an essential uh, thing with this team because of how they shoot the ball, uh, even from the mid-range. And so uh, that could have been a lot better. Uh, and that we, that kind of had a downstream effect on the stats that you mentioned. But uh, we were just overall not tight enough on that end of the floor to, to really give ourselves a chance. Is it encouraging, though, with as much as you all left on the table in terms of the finishing around the rim, that as these guys continue to grow, physically and and just continue to mature with those attacks that that those will fall at a higher rate moving forward yeah it's delicate balance i think there's a little bit of that where it's like the team's going to improve and um there's plays that we're we're not getting now that maybe we can rely on in the future uh but we, we also have the opportunity to learn lessons from the game um and just you know if we finish those plays we still would have given up 124 points so you know we certainly have to learn those lessons against a good team uh and we just you know we'll continue to try to do that paris Austin valley sports obviously a, a career night for for isaiah 28 points seemed like he was just scoring at all three levels seemed like he was in really good rhythm from the outset what did you see from him tonight uh i mean his confidence is great you know he missed a couple early and he just keeps coming you know he missed one on a possession we get the offensive rebound and he bangs the shot uh, on the next possession uh i thought he was a beneficiary of the movement of the ball you know when we move the ball he got cracks uh, and on the possessions that we didn't, you know, it kind of took him out of the game a little bit, but did a great job moving and hunting those shots. And obviously he's a, a really good shot maker. And the way he competes defensively, you know, can't be understated because every possession he plays on offense, there's an equal and opposite possession on defense. And he holds his own on that end of the floor, which is critical for a guy that's a really good shooter, really good offensive player. And obviously the, a spot start for him. Just what does it say about him that he, he steps into this role just kind of in, in a spot start in the season and, and is able to contribute like that? Yeah, I think, you know, the thing about him, we've moved him around. Obviously he wasn't in a stable role early in the season and always kept himself ready. And then we've moved his rotation around a little bit uh, even recently. You know, we've, we've kind of shifted the way we've used him. And he's in the same mold as the Cambridge Williams of the world uh, in terms of, like, you can't rock those guys. You know, you just, whatever role you put them in, they stay ready and they're the same player no matter what. Uh, and so that is what gives you confidence uh, to go to them when, you know, we have a late, you know, Shea scratch and, and we need to find a starter. You know he's going to be ready to play. And he's proven that through all the roles he's played, not just starting roles. Are, are you learning more about his game and that, like, He's not just a catch and shoot guy. Like he can put it on the floor, some initiate offense. Like, are, are you sort of testing the bounds of what he can do? Yeah, and I think the players kind of test their own bounds when they're out there enough. Uh, you know, and, and he certainly there's more to him than just the shooting. And the biggest thing, you know, I I agree with you. He's got more on offense, but the biggest thing is defense. I mean, he can handle his matchup and he's in the right spots and he competes and he knows what we're trying to get done. And, um, you know, the points are loud, the three point shots are loud, but he is invested in the invisible things that help your team win. And that's what makes him, uh, that's what is so encouraging about him as a player for me. You know, there's a reason he's in the NBA. It's that skill, but, uh, it's when a guy's committed to the invisible stuff like that, that's when, you know, he, you know, he's got a real shot.